Hail has been getting bigger, more frequent, and more costly in the United States. Scientists are trying to find a possible climate change connection to these more extreme hailstorms. They presented their research Thursday in Boulder at the North American Hail Workshop. They have found that more heat in the atmosphere can make storms stronger and hail bigger. But they've also found that hotter air below the storms can mean more melting and smaller hail. The general thought is that the stronger storms are slightly overpowering the additional melting, but much more research is needed. If, if, we, if we can't understand how hail is produced in this climate, it's, it's difficult to understand how it's going to change in an upcoming climate. Atmospheric scientist Rebecca Adam Seeland says there's a huge gap in hail research because a lot of the data is 40 years old. She's now helping to organize the first comprehensive field research campaign on hail since 1982. If approved, it'll start in 2024 on the front range of Colorado because she says it has the greatest hail potential in the country, despite the lack of severe weather over the past two years. We don't need to have a giant hailstorm in order to make an advance. We just need any hail whatsoever. Any information is really going to open up a lot of doors for us. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. So again, the panelists are talking about an unusually large hailstones, the number of unusually large hailstones that have been reported across the country this year. They say, though, the overall number of hailstorms were actually below average. With that in mind, hail still did manage to cause $16 billion in damage. Mm -hmm.